she attained the highest world ranking of number 7. With one WTA singles title, four WTA doubles titles, one WTA challenger doubles title and seven ITF doubles titles. She's a three-time Grand Slam singles quarterfinalist. Welcome to the Rich Rabbit. And today we'll be talking about the life journey of Jessica Pegula. Born in Buffalo, New York, Pegula is the daughter of Terry and Kim Pegula, who are the owners of the Buffalo Bills and NFL team and the Buffalo Sabres and NHL team. She's half Korean and her mother was born in Seoul before being adopted at age 5. Pegula was granted a wild card into the main draw of the US Open doubles tournament in 2011, where she was paired with Taylor Townsend. They eventually lost in the third round to the third seeded team of Vanya King and Yaroslava Shvedova. In March 2012, Pegula was handed a wild card to the qualifying draw in Indian Wells. And guess what? She surprised higher ranked players Bojana Jovanovski and Paula Ormaichia to qualify for the main draw, where she lost to Magdalena Rebarikova in three sets. But despite all the skill and talent, she had to wait a few years to make her Grand Slam debut. Pegula made her Grand Slam singles debut at the 2015 US Open as a qualifier. She defeated Shuko Aoyama, Margarita Gasparian and Melanie Udin to reach the main draw, where she beat Alison van Uitwank in the first round. And in the second round, Pegula was defeated by Dominika Sibulkova in three sets. In 2018, Pegula reached her first WTA singles final at the Tournoi de Quebec in September as a qualifier. There, she lost to 8th seed Pauline Parmentier in straight sets. This brought her ranking back inside the top 200 and helped her finish the year inside the top 125. The American began the 2019 primarily playing on the ITF circuit before cracking inside the top 100 in February for the first time in her career. This allowed her to enter several larger WTA tour events, including in Indian Wells and Miami. She also competed in the main draw of a Grand Slam tournament other than the US Open for the first time. Jessica was defeated in the first round of the French Open by eventual champion Ashley Barty before falling in the same stage at Wimbledon to Mihaila Buzarnescu. Jessica achieved the best result of her career at the start of the North American hardcourt season, when she won her first WTA career singles title at the Washington Open, defeating Camila Giorgi in the final. This took her to a new career-high ranking of world number 55. Despite failing to win another main draw match the rest of the season, Jessica finished the year ranked inside the top 100 for the first time, at number 76. Jessica started her 2020 tennis season at the Auckland Open, where she defeated CeCe Bellis in the first round. She followed this up with two more straight set victories over Tamara Zidanschek and Elise Cornet to reach the semi-finals. There, she beat Caroline Wozniacki in three sets to advance to her third career WTA singles final. Facing off against 23-time Grand Slam singles winner Serena Williams for the first time, Jessica lost in straight sets. At the US Open, Jessica recovered from a set down to record her first Grand Slam main draw win since the 2015 US Open, defeating Marie Buzkova in a third set tiebreak. She then beat Kirsten Flipkins to advance to the third round of a Grand Slam event for the first time, where she lost to former world number two Petra Kvitova. Jessica attained major success at the 2021 Australian Open. She booked her place in the quarterfinal, where she lost to eventual runner up Jennifer Brady despite winning the first set. The strong showing at the Australian Open in February allowed Jessica to enter the top 50 for the first time and took her to a new career-high ranking of world number 43. In June at the French Open, she reached the third round for the first time in her career where she lost to fourth seed Sofia Kennan. 
At the German Open in Berlin, Jessica reached the quarterfinals, defeating for the fourth time Karolina Pliskova in the fourth in a row meeting in 2021. As a result, she entered the top 25 on June 21, 2021. She reached her third WTA 1000 quarterfinal of 2021 at the Canadian Open Edition in Montreal. There, she defeated compatriot Danielle Collins in a close three-set match, needing six match points to win in a thrilling finish. She then went on to reach her first WTA 1000 semi-final and second semi-final for the season, defeating 13th seed Ons Jabber in 88 minutes. At the US Open, she reached the third round for a second consecutive year. It clearly shows how she has improved over the years. At Australian Open 2022, she reached her second consecutive quarterfinal at this major. She lost the quarterfinal match to world number one and eventual champion Ashley Barty, but moved to number 16 in world rankings. In Doha, she won her first WTA 1000 doubles title with Coco Goff unseeded, defeating third seed Elise Martins and Veronika Kudermatova in the final. Seeded 11th at the French Open, she reached the quarterfinals for the first time at this major, defeating previous year's semi-finalist Tamara Zidanecek in the third round and Arena Camelia Begu in the fourth. She then lost to top seed Sviantek again. As a result, she broke into the top 10 in the singles ranking for the first time at world number 8 on June 6, 2022. Now coming to her personal life, in 2021, Jessica married Taylor Gagan, a corporate executive for Pagula Sports and Entertainment and Animal Philanthropist. In August 2016, it was announced that Jessica and her sister would be opening a quick-serve restaurant called Healthy Scratch in Lakeham Harbor Center, an ice hockey-themed mixed-use development owned by her parents in Buffalo, New York. In 2017, Jessica introduced her own skincare line called Ready24. Away from tennis, Jessica enjoys golf, sports and design. She is passionate about animal welfare charity that she co-founded with her husband, a lending paw. The charity supports rescue dogs and rehabilitates them for new homes. She has been working under David Witt since 2019. Jessica has bagged more than $5 million in prize money by September 2022. But things would have been the same even if she had not made that much. This is because she is not financially dependent on either her tennis career or the success of her brand, as she is the heiress to her family fortune. Jessica's father, Terence Pegula, the co-owner of Pegula Sports and Entertainment, made his fortune in natural gas, real estate entertainment and professional sports. In 2021, Bloomberg estimated Terence's worth to be around $7 billion. And on that high note, it's time for us to call it a day. But we sure hope that you liked the video and found it informative. Subscribe to The Rich Rabbit and don't forget to click the bell icon. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video.